Hey, what is going on guys? It is Colin from CSP Tech here, and it's about that time again. Android 12 Beta 3 just dropped last night, and you guys seem to be really enjoying these videos, so I figured I would make another one. So boom, there we go, we have my phone, and I wanted to show you guys a couple of my favorite features. Now, uh, we're gonna start in a bit of a weird place here. I never thought I would focus on auto-rotate for a beta update feature, but as someone who, uh, for the past about 10 years, has vigorously turned auto rotate off the moment I get a phone. I really appreciate this update. So the main reason I hated auto rotate was obviously anytime you take your phone out of your pocket, it switches randomly and you can never deal with it. So as with usual things, let's say I open up the YouTube app here, I turn it sideways and the whole phone rotates, which is fine. That's how it works. But as with, and you guys are probably like me, you've dealt with auto rotate where it flips randomly and it does something and you just hate it. The new feature in Android 12, Beta 3, which is very interesting, is this little button here, Enable Face Detection. So the cool thing about this is if you're actually lying down on the couch or something like that, and you just, you're kind of like doing that thing where you don't really want to get up and you're just being lazy, and you actually rotate the phone to the side, it will actually use the camera to see if you're looking at it, to see if it will rotate the screen or not. I've actually tried this quickly, it works. I really, really like it. It's such a stupid thing, but I honestly think it's kind of genius to do. We've already had, like I've already had the setting turn on that's like, don't turn off the screen while I'm looking at it. And I really appreciate that. Like when I'm cooking and I see the screen go dim, I kind of just look at it and it just comes back on. I really like that feature. So it is gonna be up to you whether or not you uh, like having the camera on all the time for that, whatever that may mean to you. Um, Google's obviously taking a pretty hard stance on privacy and it stays locally and they never share the images and yada yada. But that's gonna be your decision whether or not you wanna turn this on. But for most people, um, you can, it even says here, face detection uses the front facing camera to improve audio rotate accuracy. Images are never stored or sent to Google. So you can kind of learn a little bit more about it there. And if you don't want to, you can turn it off. But I think it's a really great feature. And the fact that you can just kind of rotate your, you know, lie down and still rotate, like still use your screen normally, I think is a really great feature. So number two is actually going to be Material U. Now I know we talked about this in the last video, um, but it's more integrated now than it has ever been. And you can actually start to see where they're going with this. So um, as you can see in my wallpaper here, if you actually click on the wallpaper and style app, you can see that it's actually fully changed now. They've really updated this. There's a couple new features in here. And you'll actually notice that there's a little toggle right here uh, that has wallpaper colors on it. And it basically sets the tone for your device. So every time you pick a new wallpaper, it picks out a associated color that it thinks looks really good um, or one of the main one of the main colors on the screen and it sets that tone. Now you can see the recent uh, themes that you've had on the phone or you can switch to basic colors and then just change your notification style. Um, so you can see now it's more purple. Uh, if I wanna go green, I can go green. It does take a little while because we're still in beta, but you can change everything or you can just go back to wallpaper colors. It'll pick some themes from it and it will go from there. So now we can see that everything adjusts. So uh, Material U is kind of just more integrated now. Maybe this should have been the first thing for a lot of people, but uh, I think the auto rotate was really cool. Um, if you go into the camera app, you'll actually start noticing that uh, all the colors, hi, me, <laughs> all the colors here are now improved. So you can see all the blue is, there's uh, blue all over the screen and everything like that. So Material U is playing its part here as well. So a quick thing here while we're on the home screen, I just want to mention this is actually going to be the folder layout. So you guys will notice that on my home screen, I always have folders and you'll see that the icons are actually sticking out of the, uh, the folders now. So it's a, just a bit of a different look. They've updated it so you can actually see the whole icon. I didn't think I was going to like this at first, but I didn't really notice it until it was pointed out to me. And I kind of see, I kind of prefer the, uh, the icons popping out now, that way you can actually at least see the whole icon. Again, it's never something I thought about. I don't really love that this one here has like the PC Optimum is a square icon, so it sticks out a lot. Um, but the rest of them, I think it, it kind of works. If you don't like the disjointed effect, um, it may not be for you then. I don't know if you can fully change it. Um, I haven't dived deep into this yet. Maybe this is gonna be um, like a home screen setting or something like that. But um, this is kind of the way that the folders look now. And I think that's just gonna be the way it's gonna go from the future. Another quick thing I wanna mention is when you swipe down from the top here, you'll actually notice that the power menu has changed places with the settings button. So they used to be in uh, the power button was 
was on the power menu, sorry, was on the right hand side and the settings were in the middle. I actually much prefer this because the settings were always on the right hand side and now I just appreciate it. So you got your edit button on the left, you got your power menu in the middle and your settings button on the right. Next thing in the settings, I'll just drive right into it because we're kind of going through here. You can actually see that the settings has been overhauled a little bit again. Uh, so now the color icons are all gone. It's just this very simple uh, icon pattern, which I like. Um, it's, it's nothing new. I do like the fact that they've kind of made the settings bigger as a, an overall shift in Android 12. So no fault there, but uh, it is something you're just going to have to get used to. The next thing I want to talk about here is actually going to be the uh, in the system settings uh, for the gestures. There's actually a dedicated power menu now. Um, so you can obviously do your hold for assistant, things like that. I prefer having the power menu as mentioned. So when you hold the button down, you actually get the whole power menu. Um, so I do prefer that, but that is there now if you guys want to. It's not in gestures anymore. I know there's an assistant feature um, somewhere in here that uh, you can turn off the swiping up from the corner. So if you don't like the Google Assistant swiping up from the corner, you can turn that off. That's a new thing in the third beta as well. So really quickly, I just want to jump in here. I looked it up after because obviously I wanted to show you guys where the swipe for assistant was. So when you guys are in your settings, you go to system, gestures, and then in the system navigation, there's obviously the different ways of choosing it. If you go into gesture settings, it's actually right here. So swipe to invoke the assistant. So if you turn that off, you swipe on the right side now, it's actually just gonna go straight to multitasking. It's no longer gonna go to the assistant, or you can turn it on to swipe in from the side. Of course it didn't work. You swipe in from the side to get the assistant. I actually prefer the assistant on, so I'm gonna leave it like that, but you can now adjust things like the sensitivity and things like that. So um, which is really cool. So if it goes to multitasking too often, you can turn on the sensitivity or higher or lower. Um, that's a really cool thing. Just wanted to cut in there and show you guys that. One more thing while we're in the settings here is actually gonna be the media button. And you guys have noticed every time I swipe down now, oh, it's gone now, of course, but um, there's actually down here at the bottom of the sound and vibration settings, um, there's actually a media section now where you can actually pin your media player. Um, I didn't think I was gonna like this at first because when I used to open, let's say I'm opening and listening to a podcast. So I'm listening to uh, the, you know, the new Land of the Giants series and I swipe away, it kind of persists at the top of the screen. And I used to hate this because it was in the notification bar, but now that in Android 12, they moved it up into the quick settings, I actually kind of like it there. And there's been times where I'll pause my music, I'll go get a coffee at a coffee shop or something, and by the time I leave, I just hit the button on my Google Assistant, and it doesn't play because it's already shut it down in the background. This allows you to pin it here, so even though I'm not playing and the app's not open, it's actually just gonna stay here for a little bit, and as we saw, it takes probably, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes for it to leave, um, but for me, it basically uh, allows you to just kind of keep going, and it'll just resume playback a little faster. So I actually really like that because as someone who is constantly pausing, listening to podcasts, getting on and off the bus, talking people, things like that. That's actually a really handy feature to have up there. So I appreciate that. All right. So last thing here I want to show you guys is as this is a beta, things are going to update, things are going to change. There's a lot of little tweaks, like um, things like the menu bar at the bottom. It's no longer an assistant button. It's a microphone. Um, it's a little bit bigger at the bottom, just like visual over uh, visual tweaks that, you know, whether you like or not is up to you. But one of the things that I think is I'm so happy they finally did this. If you guys ever noticed that when I scroll down, there's this thing called long shot here, which is a longer screenshot app and you basically screenshot and you have to take multiple and you have to like swipe and it's really annoying because Android has never had built in long screenshots and uh, Samsung has had it for a long time, but Google has never put it in. Sorry, I shouldn't say Android never has. Google has never put it directly into stock Android and it's been a really frustrating feature. Well. No longer, my friends. It took 12 generations or however many generations of Android we are, but we finally have long screenshots. So if you take a screenshot on the screen, immediately you get a little redesign of this window, but you finally have a capture more button. You click on that and it pulls down. You get to just crop in whatever you want. You basically get to choose how long you want it to go down. And then you just save and you have a beautiful long screenshot. Now there is a limit to this. Um, I'm just going to open up an app here. So let's go to my Instagram. Let's say uh, there is a limit to exactly how much you can capture. Um, but I still think it's better than nothing. So you kind of just get like one nice long section here. Um, if you hit the edit button, you kind of go into your picture settings. You can't go further than that. Um, so you can kind of, you know, crop from here, change your colors, add text, things like that. You can always have done, but 
we finally have it. Longer screenshots, not infinite screenshots. Like I know Samsung, you can just go and go and go and go. And I can't remember exactly what the limit is, but for most things, this has been long enough that it's been perfect. And I mean, if you wanted to, you could always edit two together, but then that gets pretty crazy. So um, I'm really happy that they finally installed this. This is something that I genuinely have been asking for for a long time. And in fact, on camera here, I'm gonna get rid of it because this has been really, really annoying and I can finally uninstall long shot. Oh my God, it's been so long. So anyways, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Android 12 beta three. I don't know that there's gonna be another one. If there is, I will upload a video at that point, but I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your support throughout these little mini series here. And if ever you guys have any questions for me, please leave them down below. I will link the nine to five Google article where it talks about where I got like kind of my information from where it lists every single thing that's new. Uh, there's a couple added things I didn't talk about, but I'll just leave it there for now. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys soon. One more video coming up before the giveaway video, and then I will do official 5,000 giveaway video. So thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.